how's it going everybody? It's Yeong here and welcome to a Death Stranding news update. The following information once again comes from Reddit user 0002. If you watched my previous videos then you may recall that he's the one who found new equations on Norman's necklace by taking close-up screenshots with Horizon Zero Dawn's photo mode. This time he decided to shoot some close-ups of the stranded shackles and the stranded figure. As far as the stranded figure goes, there's really not much else that we can make out here that we couldn't in Death Stranding second trailer. Since Horizon runs on the same game engine as Death Stranding, the Decima game engine, this right here is exactly the same asset as the one used in the trailer, but despite the new angles, not much can be discerned from the baby figure that we haven't already talked about before. It's a bit of a different story with the stranded shackles, however. First things first, here's what they look like in all their glory when they're not being worn. This is definitely the best look we've gotten yet of the mysterious object. As you can see, it's very clear that the two cuffs look very different from each other. I feel like we're once again seeing a representation of the parallel yet opposite motif that we have seen throughout Death Stranding's trailers. But most peculiar of all is the presence of a variety of labels. On the cuff that is only lit by a small red LED, the label says Model XXX Serial Number 052479. On the other cuff, the one with the blue light, the label says Made in XXX and below that are the numbers 338 So there are two possibilities for this. One, these labels mean nothing and they're just little irrelevant details that you'd find in these types of objects. Metal Gear did this a lot, adding random barcodes and serial numbers on objects mostly for the aesthetics of it, with no real hidden meaning behind any of it. So this could be just that. On the other hand, it could have been Kojima's intention for Horizon players to find this and for at least one of them to spread the word about these labels and numbers because they possibly mean something. As for what these numbers could mean, at the moment, no idea. Some people are assuming that the serial number here could be a date, May 24th, 1979. Others are thinking that these numbers could somehow represent coordinates. So you know, your typical answers for these kinds of number problems. The only tangible information that all of this tells us is that these handcuffs are indeed man-made. That seems like an obvious thing to say, but with Death Stranding featuring bizarre beings like these five monolithic figures who look humanoid but could be alien in nature, you never know where something as bizarre looking as these shackles could come from. But based on all these labels, they do look to be man-made, human-made. Hell, the three X's after Made In could be for the letters UCA. Maybe it's meant to say made in United Cities of America. That's just a wild guess though. One last thing I would like to point out is that the two cuffs seem to be connected by not only chains, but also some kind of rope that is somewhat reminiscent of the umbilical cords we have seen throughout both Death Stranding trailers. It could just be a cable to connect the two ends, but it could also be related to the umbilical cords, and perhaps this indicates that the umbilical cords are also man-made, artificial in nature and whatnot. There's definitely nothing natural looking about the umbilical cords after all, with their weird black color and all. But anyway, with what little information we have about the game, this is pretty much all I can make out from these images. So with that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what you make of the labels and numbers that can be seen printed on both cuffs of the Stranded Shackles. And to be further updated on all things Death Stranding, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out!